question some people ask me what this is like a tablecloth it's actually reusable it's not reusable disposable plastic um, sheets these are very common here because people a lot of um traditionally people eat on the floor and they put this out on the ground it opens up into like a big plastic and they eat on that and it makes for easy cleanup you just wrap everything in the plastic so i guess it's kind of like a disposable tablecloth so that's what i have texas roadhouse this is my first time trying texas roadhouse ever oh red oh my gosh that smells so delicious wow they're like super buttery look at that they leave a buttery grease on the <laughs> reusable tablecloth why did they give me peanuts? Is that like a Texas like thing? Peanuts! Okay, let me just get all this out. Yum, it looks good. Well, why are there eggs in my salad? You guys know how I feel about salad eggs. I had to throw peanuts <laughs> Get my cat away. Okay, I had to put the eggs um, out because honestly, I'm just getting used to liking eggs. And for me, the random eggs in salad, I'm not ready for it. But the cheddar cheese, yes, and the croutons. So this is, um, this is a pretty good side salad. I gotta say, this is very decent for side salad standards. So I was just creating like a full meal, like a, you know, um, we made this a lot when I was living at home, like um, sat, like sat, usually Caesar salad my mom would make, and then you know my stepdad would grill steak, and we'd have mashed potatoes. But this is cinnamon butter. I that sounds sweet to me. Oh my gosh, yum. Okay, so I'm gonna pour out these potatoes, the brown gravy. Mm -hmm. Yum. I'm gonna try the salad. Oh, I love these kind of salads. I'm gonna try to savor and enjoy my food. I crave a steak once in a while. Um, potatoes, baby bite. Wow. The gravy tastes like it was honestly made with like, I'm cutting my steak with a, a plastic knife. I know you're, you're gonna cringe, but this is a sirloin and it's medium. Perfect. Actually very tender, but I'm cutting it with the most dull knives ever. <laughs> That's good. The mashed potatoes don't taste boxy. <laughs> I know that this is gonna be cringe. I actually don't have a steak knife because we don't buy steaks usually like, you know, so it's kind of hard to cut it. So I have to use this knife, I'm sorry. It's actually more rare than I prefer. Perfect, I'm very rare. Oh, meal trash, but it tastes good. Sit down, she's so hyper. So I have some good news. Even the croutons are good. I found some clothes, some more clothes online. Oh yeah, this is not medium. I'd say this is medium rare. This is why I never get medium, I always get well done. Because they never do it right. I, I, I honestly, I cannot eat my steak like this. I can't. I think I'm gonna go cook it. I'm gonna go cook it, but I wanna try one of these buns. Yeah, like I legit cannot eat it. I like that. So this is whipped cinnamon butter or what? Mmm. Oh, that's good. They're still warm too. Sorry guys, I hate bloody steak. No. Nope. I could just eat like a dozen of these. I'm gonna save the other one. Little efforts, right? <laughs> Alright, so I did a couple of things. I put my steak in the air fryer. Uh, it looks a little more cooked, but still bloody. Um, so I'm just gonna put, I got proper cutlery. I found a knife. Yeah, it's still very juicy and bloody on the inside a little bit, but not as bad, you know? I put salt and pepper and I'm gonna put some of this butter. Look at the color of this butter. This butter, like butter, I'm used to getting like almost white butter. This butter is so flavorful, so good. So, okay, so that's that. I have a proper knife. Um, I have an iced tea for later. This is only 64 calories for the can, so not bad. And right now I'm drinking Diet 7-Up. It does matter because you know, 200 calories or 150 calories is not that I'm counting, but I know, you know, it's like full sugar, extra calories, nothing. Hey, I keep having to throw the peanuts at her uh, away so she runs away from my food. So I guess the peanuts came in handy. I'm going to save this bread, actually, and have Salah try one because... All right. I'm going to add a few Doritos to my salad. I've been craving taco, like Doritos taco salad, but have you ever done that? It's so good. It's like croutons, but Doritos. Um, by the way, I did not binge yesterday as well. I know I have to come up with more vlogs about like what I actually ate, but <sighs> vlogging takes effort and I just haven't been like feeling the greatest, you know, but I will. Um, I do have the videos ready to go, so I'll probably upload two videos today, maybe, inshallah. Oh, look at the butter. Yummy. That's better. Potatoes are still hot. Warm. This one is good. Mm. I'm actually, the last few days I've been battling with my brain, like, with the food rules, like, you can't eat this kind of thing. But the anxiety is like dissipating slowly, which is nice. A, lo a lot of it. It's not gonna happen overnight, you know. Some of the juices from the steak. Mm. Guess who has to fish them out under the couch later? Me. So let's get back to what I was saying. So let's get back to what I was saying. I found clothes. 
and I get to shop online easier for me right now. So what I'm going for, I just got a few things, but I'll do a haul. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Did you put that there? So I'll have the haul. The items are expected to arrive like in a couple days. I got a couple beauty top-ups. One thing I'm getting really good at, actually, that I didn't even really notice, mashallah, <laughs> is being more like, more frugal. You know, like before I would just like, go on Sephora, for example, find the top rated mascara, which is $30. I found a mascara on sale that got really good reviews from a different brand for like three bucks, you know? So little things like this, like, because especially when I think of like 500 bucks, for example, at Sephora could be like a trip, you know, like. So it just doesn't make sense to me anymore to waste money like I used to and get myself in all kinds of financial trouble. It does help admittedly having um, a financially responsible husband and having two incomes instead of one. So I just find myself, I'm like in that habit. At first, like, want another pizza? She's so cute. At first, you know, I, I, that's the thing with me. I'm impulsive in every way, financially irresponsible and impulsive. So having someone kind of like help me get in the habit, you know, like let's say I would add things to my car. He would go over it and be like, this one is cheaper. Look at the reviews kind of thing, you know? I was just being patient. If you're patient and you look for deals, it's a lot better. Where's my Doritos? Just a few more. It's actually so good. You have to try it. <laughs> you have a bag of Doritos laying around? Which, that's a good sign for me, because usually all the Doritos are gone within, like, we've had the, we bought these, like, last week. And they're still, you know, that half a bag would be gone. <laughs> so it's just little things like that that make me feel accomplished without feeling overwhelmed. So I cannot wait to show you the clothes I get, because they're cute. It's mostly, like, shirts and shirt dresses. I hope they fit. They're supposed to be size 28. They go up to size 30 at this place. But I think it's an American franchise. Man, this salad is the best thing about the nail. Would it still be without the Doritos? Yeah. I need to cook it even more. Would you guys eat that? Mm -hmm. No way. I'll cook it after. I was gonna get the chicken, but I was gonna get the steak tips. But then I was like, eh. I don't like cabbage in my side salad. It's like, I'm fickle like that. I like coleslaw. So the salad has to be all cabbage or none. <laughs> and I prefer green cabbage. Oh, why am I using this knife? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Mmm. Mmm, <laughs> the butter. <laughs> you think that's really unhealthy, but that tablespoon of butter will prevent a binge, I'm telling you. So will this, um, these Doritos. <laughs> this handful of Doritos. Depending how late I stay up. So I was going to be doing um, a gaming stream later, so if you want to hang out with us, we always appreciate your company. <clears throat> we are going to see a movie this coming week. Again. Tips on being frugal. Wait till cheap night. Half price. Why not? Although a regular movie is like 10 bucks for an adult. Choked on a Dorito. They're trying to kill me one way or another. So on cheap night, it's like 5 bucks. You know? In Canada, that movie was like, what, 15 bucks? It was so expensive for a movie. But I never liked going on cheap night in Canada because it was so packed all the time. And people are loud. Here, nobody makes a peep. <laughs> people are very reserved. I don't have sections, like <clears throat> separate sections for families and there's like never any kids. Obviously we go to rated R movies usually. <laughs> We're going to see Insidious, the new Insidious movie. And me, I was like, see my impulsive irresponsible brain. I was like, let's go to VIP. I don't know, movie just came out. And VIP is like triple price. It's little things like that that make a difference. The steak needs to be cooked even some more. I know, I'm a weirdo. I might slice it up and like air fry it that way so every piece has no blood in it. I don't know, I like crispy, like well, well done meat. <laughs> I know I'm gonna get mad hate for that. Anyways. I feel like a pig, but you know what? I'm going.